So it's a very brisk four degrees outside, so that means today I'm making soup. Now, dressed in my husband's coat, because nothing else fits, and I'm wearing socks with my shoes so you can see my socks. So I figure, you know, going to Walmart, I don't need to dress up. I'm gonna attempt to make some $5 soups. All right, so I'm officially back from the store and the first recipe I'm making is our $5 taco soup. Now the first ingredient this recipe calls for is ground beef. The only problem was was that ground beef was really expensive today. It was like five to seven dollars for just one pound. So I decided to just get ground turkey. So instead of five dollars, it was only 277. Next up is a can of black beans, which was only 62 cents. One can of diced tomatoes, 72 cents. And then came the corn. Now you can usually get corn for about 50 cents, but the shelves were empty, so I had to pay a little bit more. It was about 118 for this little can of corn, but hopefully you can find some for 50 cents at your store. Now the rest of the ingredients I had at home, so I'm not counting that towards my $5. Gonna start by using my handy dandy Instant Pot. You can also use the slow cooker or just your stove top for this recipe. So you're gonna first start by pushing the saute button. We want to get the pot nice and hot to cook our meat. All right, now that it's hot, all ready to go, we're gonna take the ground turkey and just cook it up in the bottom of the Instant Pot. And if you haven't seen this, this is my lovely chop and stir. I'll put a link down below for you. It's my favorite tool in the kitchen. Okay, once the meat is cooked, then you can drain the grease if you want to. Then you're just gonna start adding the things in. So we have our black beans that I rinsed and drained, diced tomatoes. We have our canned corn that I left all the liquid in there. Now the important thing is we wanna kind of scrape the bottom. We don't want any of that ground turkey left on the bottom of the pot, just cause that will give you the burn notice. So scrape that bottom just a little bit. Now it calls for some seasoning. I'll put this down below in the description for you. Now it also calls for chicken broth, but because that wasn't in the budget, I decided to do the bouillon cubes. Now the one thing I love about the Instant Pot is that you can add your water. You can add two to three cups. I'm adding two and a half. And then I'm gonna add three bouillon cubes and you can just throw those right into your pot and they will cook and dissolve while all of your soup cooks together. Okay, I'm just gonna mix this around one more time before we put the lid on. When we're done, we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on. If you have a little knob, make sure that's turned to sealing, not venting. Now because everything is pretty much cooked, we're just gonna go pressure cook and we're just gonna cook it for about five minutes. So I'll, I'll set the time, then you can just walk away. So in total, this recipe came to 5.29. Now it would have been a lot cheaper if I would have gotten the 50 cent corn. So yeah, I was close, close enough. All right, when it was all done, I went and let all the pressure out of the Instant Pot. And then what's left is a delicious taco soup. Okay, we have Maylee here. She is doing our taste testing. So, we got taco soup, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, put a little sour cream and cheese in there. I like it. it it's not the best, but I still like it. I would eat it. <laughs> you wanna give it a ranking? Sure, I would give it a three out of five. It's because you don't like taco soup or you don't like soup, yeah. period? Yeah, okay. <laughs> the next recipe I'm making is our Instant Pot Broccoli Cheddar Soup. So first we have our whipping cream. Now this was kind of expensive, the most expensive thing on my list. It came to about 216. You don't have to use whipping cream, you can also use whole milk, which would make your price go way down. Next, an onion for about 50 cents. About four cups of broccoli. This isn't quite four cups but we're gonna pretend like it is. So 84 cents for frozen broccoli. And last is about two cups of cheddar cheese. So I just bought a block and I'm just gonna shred it up. Now just a reminder, there are some things I had at home that I didn't put towards my $5. So we're gonna start by pushing the saute button on the Instant Pot. First we're gonna chop up an onion, but this is my little secret. If you haven't seen it, 
I get about three paper towels, get them soaking wet, and I'm just gonna put them in between me and the onion. So when I chop up the onion, I'm not gonna be dying inside. <laughs> well, my eyes won't be dying. Then, just gonna chop it on up. All right, onion is chopped. Look at my eyes, yep. They're not even watery at all. Winning! Now that we push the saute button, it's getting warm and toasty in there, so we're gonna add about a tablespoon or so of olive oil. <laughs> Sorry, there's a lot of little voices. We have some little girls over playing at our house with Sarah today. All right, now that it's nice and hot, we're gonna go ahead and add the onions into it. Just mix those around. We're gonna cook them until they're nice and soft. Okay, now that we've got them all nice and softened and browned, we're gonna add a little bit of chicken broth. Now, I didn't buy chicken broth, so we're gonna do the trick I did last time and do the chicken bouillon cubes. So first I'm gonna add three cups of water into my pot. And then, just like I said, we're gonna just add three of these. So you add one of these per cup of water. And don't worry, we're gonna cook this so those will dissolve. Don't you worry. Next up, I have my broccoli. Now I cooked it for about a minute just to soften things up a little bit so it wasn't frozen. So it'd be easier to cut these giant pieces into smaller pieces. All right, once your broccoli's all chopped up, go ahead and just put it into your Instant Pot. Then into the pot, we're just gonna add about a fourth teaspoon of nutmeg. Now we're just gonna cook it all up. So go ahead and put your lid on. If you have a little knob, make sure it's turned to sealing, not venting. Then we're gonna push pressure cook, and then we're just gonna cook it for about two minutes. So once you set the timer, you can just leave it and it will cook. Now when it's all done cooking, you're gonna go ahead and release the little knob to let all the pressure out. All right, once you can take the lid off because all the pressure's out, we're gonna add about a cup and a half of whipping cream. Now again, you can use whole milk if you'd like, but if you want it nice and creamy, whipping cream's where it's at. All right, after all the whipping cream is in, we're gonna come down here and push cancel, then push saute again, and we're gonna add the cheese and the hot sauce, and then we're done. I'm just gonna shred this whole block because we want the two cups. Then as I shred, I just dump in the cheese. And the last thing is hot sauce. Now the originally re original recipe called for one tablespoon, but that's kind of a lot. So we're just gonna add a, a little more than one teaspoon. You can add a tablespoon. It just depends on how hot you like your soup. Now it's just time to mix it all together. We're gonna let all that cheese get nice and melted. Now the thing is, it's still on saute. We do not want it to boil, so. Once it starts getting nice and hot, you can turn it off and just have it keep on warm and it'll be ready to go when it's dinner time. It's looking good. Okay, Maylee's taste testing broccoli cheddar soup. Okay. Yeah? It's better than I thought it would be. <laughs> That's a good sign. All right, rating for me? Four out of five. Four out of five? Mm -hmm. All right, good to know. And the last recipe I'm making is our vegetable tortellini soup. The first thing that I got is Rotel, or the Walmart version of it, and that came to 60 cents. Next, I bought a bag of carrots, which I'm gonna chop up. It was just a dollar for the carrots, and I only need one cup. Next is frozen spinach. Now, this is a 12-ounce package. I only need five ounces, so we're just going to use half of it, so it'll be about 50 cents. Now, the original recipe called for one container, which no one knows what one container is, so I actually got the smallest container because it was only a dollar for about a cup of sour cream. And the last thing I got is our frozen tortellini. Now this was the most expensive thing. It came to about $2.98, but this is what makes the soup delicious. And one last thing at the store, I did buy a zucchini, which would come to about 75 cents. The problem is, is that I have searched high and low for this little zucchini. I have no idea where it went. So we're gonna pretend that we put zucchini into this recipe, even though I, I don't know what happened. I swear I bought it, but now it is gone. First, we're gonna chop up the vegetables. Now, if you had zucchini, you'd be chopping up your zucchini too, but you know, we're just doing carrots right now. All right, now you can make this one in your Instant Pot, but I'm gonna make it in the stock pot today just to show you a different way to make it. 
So first I'm gonna start with the can of Rotel. Just dump it into the bottom and we'll add the vegetables. So here are my carrots and put the bikinis in there. Okay, we're pretending. Next is about five ounces of spinach. So it's about half the bag. So we're just gonna eyeball about half the bag of the frozen spinach. Then there's all kinds of seasoning. I'll put those down below in the description for you. So we gotta make it taste good with the seasoning, right? Right. Now, like we did before, we're gonna cheat and use some water and bouillon cubes. So we have four cups of water here, and I'm gonna add just the four bouillon cubes. Okay, we're gonna turn this on to low and let this simmer for a bit until pretty much the carrots are cooked through. That's what we want cooked. All right. <laughs> I might have gone a little carried away with the spinach. There is a lot of spinach in here. So if you're gonna make this, make sure stick to try, try to stick to five ounces. I think I did more like 10 ounces, but that's okay. I like spinach. Now we're just gonna add all the tortellini and let this cook until those are cooked through. So every package is a little bit different. So it says boil for about three minutes or so. Um, so they cook, they cook really quick. All right, the pasta is all cooked. Now it's just time to add the sour cream. And we're gonna mix this in really good because you don't want chunks in your sour cream in your soup. All right, it is all done nice and creamy. All right, Ansley's up with the tortellini <laughs> vegetable soup. Mm -hmm. All right, give it a try. That's really good. Yeah. I'll give it like a 4.5 out of 5. Nice. Anything you don't like about it? Um, it has a little cake to it, but yeah. that's what makes it pretty good. Nice. I like it. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. If you made it this far, that means you get the countdown. There's only four weeks left until I have this little baby girl. All right. If you want more easy soup recipes, I've got plenty for you right up there. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.